Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders, Great Millstone, Bashem Rakak Wadash. My name is Yakalba from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. Now, before, you know, um, Babylon America was founded, there was already a perverse spirit amongst the Edomites. That that's that's a part of their character. That's an attribute of Esau. Alright. So when I bring that scripture out, yeah, it's yeah, the the perverse spirit is there, but that's that's a part of their identity. It isn't something that was that just started to happen. Alright. Now, um let me read this first. Uh Isaac uh this is uh the Edomites or Babylon, America's under uh the Queen of Heaven spirit. All right, and um, something along those lines, I name it. It says Isaiah 3 and 12, as for my people, all right, but now it's, it's the verse is singling out Israel, but this is really all of America, really the world, but uh, the, the Western world, you know, mainly. But it says, as for my people, uh, and that includes uh, North, Central, South America, and Europe, and Russia, and Australia, all, all those uh, westernized um countries as for my people uh children are their oppressors and women rule over them oh my people they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths all right so women rule over them just to put an emphasis on the word we got mashal rule women rule and we should already know by now that women are not supposed to have dominion over men to rule to have dominion it goes back to what Genesis the third chapter matter of fact rule that should be the same word so should we go straight down it should go Genesis 3 right yep Genesis three sixteen. and to the woman you said I will greatly multiply the sorrow of thy conception and sorrow so they'll bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee so this is just stating a fact yeah, all right stating a fact it's not something that was just instituted during uh, this time period it was just stating a, a fact all right um, but it, was, it was always the, the men are to rule over the women meaning give them direction all right they follow your direction then they're under your protection all right, you don't follow directions, you ain't under, under the protection. As simple as that. Uh, so, the video I have here is Los Angeles District Attorney under fire for a disturbing uh, audio leaked from violent sex offender. Well, yeah, but the main thing is that he only got two years. All right. Not that he was gloating about it. He only got two years. I hope he's not do a damn commercial. Fox News obtained. All right, all right, good. All right, uh, no, let's let the video play. In shocking audio of a sex offender's crude remarks about the victim in a case that has brought criticism of progressive Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon. Bill Malusian is live in Los Angeles with the latest for us. Hi, Bill. Yeah, Dana, good morning to you. So LADA George Gascon has taken a lot of heat when it comes to this case. It has to do with a 26-year-old transgender child molester who was sentenced to only two years in a juvenile facility because George Gascon just refused to prosecute. All right, so that means this is a man that, uh, I don't know if he, if he went through surgery, but this is a, a man. Well, where did it go right there? I don't think he uh went through surgery. Well, I don't know. Well, uh, the trend is now to look to be a trans and still look like the same thing that you are. Uh, you know, partially. Or identify as a woman but look like a man or identify as a man look like a woman. That's I've been seeing that lately also. So, uh let's let that play. Cute her as an adult. So take a look. This is 20 transgender child molester who was sentenced to only two years in a juvenile facility because George Gascon just refused to prosecute her as an adult. So take a look. This is 
26-year-old Hannah Tubbs, who was recently convicted of sexually assaulting a 10-year-old girl inside of a Denny's bathroom in L.A. County back in 2014. Now, at the time, Tubbs' first name was James, and she was two weeks from her 18th birthday. CCTV showed Tubbs going into that Denny's bathroom and then fleeing the scene after the assault, but she wasn't connected to that sexual assault until she was arrested for another crime in 2019. And prosecutors say she began identifying as female after she was taken into custody. And despite having multiple... Okay, so it looked like he uh, he he just sw switching up. Okay, so okay, I I didn't watch the video, so this is just total bullshit. Then, so he just switched up so he can get a light prison sentence. Somebody probably told him to do that. So either way. violent crimes on her record already, Gascon refused to prosecute Tubbs as an adult. And last month, a judge sentenced her to serve two years in a juvie facility at age 26, and she also will not have to register as a sex offender. Now, I've obtained, I've obtained uh, some of Tubbs' phone calls from law enforcement sources from when she was in custody in L.A. County here in November. This was before her sentencing. In a phone call with her dad, she just gloats. Of course, so they keep referring to him as a she. All right. So, and then they're they're all um, they talking shit about her, him, her, him gloating. That's not even the point. Him, him gloating. Come on. That it's that she's not going to serve any prison time, and that she. Okay. All right. So you get the point. All right. I don't give a damn about the, the devil gloating. That he got to the opportunity to change his identity his sexual identity or gender identity just so she, he could get a, a, a shorter sentence and no criminal record and he's serving in, the, in a juvenile uh detention facility i guess they call it all right and he was able to do that because he started to identify as a woman so what what do we learn that America Babylon is under the spirit of a woman. All right, see how light they 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 the uh, women are dis, uh, disproportionately uh, uh, they have uh, lighter sentences when it comes to the equal crimes that men commit. All right, this is Isaiah twenty four and five. The earth also was defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances broken the everlasting covenant yeah we did that however esau he broke the laws also all right because the laws they were given to us but many of the laws are fundamental so if you so even if other nations break these laws it's going to cause chaos on the earth it's going to uh, cause you know perversion and you know uh, amoral behavior the morals that are based upon the, the laws all right and the earth is will degrade farther even if the other nations don't keep the laws all right so it's bad all the way around that's what this is why when the kingdom is established the whole world all the peoples on the earth are going to keep the laws because if they don't it's going to destroy the earth all right then we have to destroy them to preserve the beauty of the earth all right, um, 19 it says Isaiah 19 and 14 Yahweh hath mangled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof we got eight minutes and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit again like I mentioned er in the beginning America Bab the people have always been perverse all right it's just progressively getting worse and worse all right now you can change your ident ident i heard somebody say that you say people want to start changing their i think uh, ts said it changing their identity so they could get the privileges of women all right the lord have made a perverse i mean i believe it means like crooked or something like that right off the path or, or adultery well adultery means to change the to alter to alter something to alter the natural um use or path it says uh yeah i am i i am use your best pronunciation with that distorting perverting 
warping. All right, and in this case, warping the uh, your gender, distorting, warping, and warp judgment. There you go. All right, because women get uh, lighter sentences for the same crime. All right, and he and he's using that. He started to identify as a woman, so he he should say he just saved his life. He refused to prosecute him as an adult, right, which they love to do for certain crimes. And uh, he's only getting two years. <laughs> and when he get out, he's going, that's sick. He's going to go right back to being a man again. And we'll roll the video again. Uh, Jeremiah 7, 18. The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women uh, knead their dough. Uh, to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings into other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Uh, so, were, so one of the gods they were worshiping was the queen of heaven. We look up queen, we got Ma, Malaka, 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 root word is king. You go down to here, it doesn't give you much information, but it just tells you that this is the queen of heaven was worshiped as a, a god. A queen, it only occurs in Jeremiah 7, 18, 44, and 19. In which passages, the queen of heaven, parentheses, uh, to whom the woman of Israel paid divine honors. All right, and it's associated with the moon, uh, Astar, and the planet Venus. Uh, so this is a deity worshipped, a false god. All right, the worship of, of heaven, but just the queen of heaven. All right. and then the Catholics openly worship the Queen of Heaven, and they uh, uh, associate the Queen of Heaven with Mary. So, if the Son, the Lord, was uh, the King, so His Mother had to be divine. That's one of the, th the trains of thought that they use. Uh, but where's the where's the King? Where's the, where's the Father? All right. I guess that's supposed to be. That's supposed to be God there. And I guess that's supposed to be Jesus. And they're putting a crown on the mother of God. And then you have uh, naked babies. These are supposed to be angels or cherubs. All right. Well, this is a, a, a demonic uh, Renaissance art picture. Well, it tells you here, coronation, coronation of, of the Virgin, Diego Velasquez. All right. That's what. He lived in Spain. That's probably the 1500s, probably. You know, 15th and 1600s. 1660. All right. So it says... Um, as a title given to the Virgin Mary by Christians, mainly the Catholic Church, and to the lesser extent, uh, Anglicanism. Catholic teachings on uh, this subject is expressed in the papal. All right, uh, it states that uh, Mary is called Queen of Heaven because her son, Jesus Christ, is the King of Israel and the Heavenly King of the Universe. Indeed. So... <laughs> So this, this this damn paradox. Who came first? Uh, you know, so you, you get that. All right, the Catholics worship her. Is, is, uh, this is not Mary. Mary was a black a black woman, or is a black woman. All right. Uh, to broke the load to anger. Let's play that video one more time. I'll let it play all the way through. Won't have to register as a sex offender. Two thousand convicted guests do. To turn sex news, of Fox News obtaining shocking audio of a sex offender's crude remarks about the victim in a case that has brought criticism of progressive Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon. Bill Malusian is live in Los Angeles with the latest for us. Hi, Bill. Yeah, Dana, good morning to you. So LADA George Gascon has taken a lot of heat when it comes to this case. It has to do with a 26-year-old transgender child molester who was sentenced to only two years in a juvenile facility because George Gascon just refused to prosecute her 
as an adult. So take a look. This is 26-year-old Hannah Tubbs, who was recently convicted of sexually assaulting a 10-year-old girl inside of a Denny's bathroom in L.A. County back in 2014. Now, at the time, Tubbs' first name was James, and she was two weeks from her 18th birthday. CCTV showed Tubbs going into that Denny's bathroom and then fleeing the scene after the assault, but she wasn't connected to that sexual assault until she was arrested for another crime in 2019. And prosecutors say she began identifying as female after she was taken into custody. And despite having multiple violent crimes on her record already, Gascon refused to prosecute Tubbs as an adult. And last month, a judge sentenced her to serve two years in a juvie facility at age 26, and she also will not have to register as a sex offender. Now, I've obtained, I've obtained uh, some of Tubbs' phone calls from law enforcement sources from when she was in custody in LA County here in November. This was before her sentencing. In a phone call with her dad, she just gloats that she's not gonna serve any prison time and that she won't have to register as a sex offender. Take a listen. Don't worry about it. It's a strike, but they're gonna plead, I'm gonna plead out to it, I'm gonna plead guilty. They're gonna stick me on probation and it's gonna be dropped, it's gonna be done, done. I won't have to register once or nothing. For an uh, offender, you don't have to register? I won't have to do none of that. So what are they gonna do to you then? Nothing. Now in those calls, Tubbs also went on to make some extremely crude, disparaging remarks about her 10-year-old victim, openly discussing her sexual attraction for her and laughing about it. So crude, we've decided not to air that audio. She also went on to say she would flee the country if she got in trouble again. So I reached out to DA George Gascon's office about these phone calls last week. His team told me they didn't even know about the calls until I contacted them. And Gascon has now released a statement which says in part, quote, after Tubbs sentencing in our case, I became aware of extremely troubling statements she made about her case, the resolution of it, and the young girl that she harmed. If we knew about her disregard for the harm she caused, we would have handled this case differently. And now for the very first time, the victim in this case, now age 18, is speaking out about Tubbs' two-year juvie sentence. We're obviously not identifying her, but she tells Fox News exclusively in part, quote, the things he did to me and made me do that day were beyond horrible for a 10-year-old girl to have to go through. That man was very clear-minded and old enough to know what he did that day was wrong and still did it anyway. It's something I struggle with and it's insulting that this is all he was given as punishment and I want something done about it. Tubbs will now be serving out her two-year sentence in a juvenile detention facility where she's going to be housed with other juvies at age 26. As for DA George Gascon, he is now backtracking on his zero-tolerance policy of never trying juvies as adults, recently announcing he will now consider doing so in the most extreme of circumstances. Dana, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Bill. A disturbing but very important story. Thank you. There you go. There you go. This is uh so he was able to get away with that. And um I'll just add one more scripture here. This is uh the women are not supposed to be worshipped. Uh, they have their duties. I think it's fourteen. Thirty something. All right. It says, First uh, Corinthians fourteen. Let, go. All right. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience. All right. But they be under obedience. But to be under obedience, as also saith the law. If they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. All right. So there, there was given no authority or rule or dominion for women to be over men. All right. And that includes Yahweh Shai's mother. All right. She was, she was blessed. All right. And she was special, but she was not to be worshipped as a deity, as a god. All right. We got to pray to Yahweh Shai, not to the Lord's mother. All right. She's not a queen. A queen is a, is, is a negative 
Word. All right, so I'll leave that there. Um, this is a false, false image. All right, so I'll leave that there. Hope you were edified. Shalom.